Hello and welcome to episode 57 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on making some or all of the white fur armour. It all depends if I've added it up correctly, the components I need, which don't be surprised if I haven't added it up correctly. There will be nothing new there, but I shall still endeavour to do a full set of white armour. First up though, there was a recent mini update as of the 28th of January 2017 to Force of Nature. I am impressed with the frequency of updates, the cheap cost of buying Force of Nature and just how much fun it is to play. You're getting a... you should all get a... Uh, get very pleasantly surprised by Force of Nature. Um, when you see how cheap it is, you really sh shouldn't expect the quality and amount of content that's actually in this game. is fabulous. Anyway, they still are frequently updating it and adding new items, improving the way it plays. So here is a list of the recent update as follows. Um, the drop rate uh, was increased for the probability of gem chips dropping from enemies so that's fantastic although I found it okay um, also poison arrows the poison duration has been reduced from 15 seconds to 10 seconds well that's good to hear uh, well I suppose that's not good to hear in actual fact because we're the ones using the poisoned arrows I mean if they were being shot at us it would be good to hear but as we're using the poison arrows I guess that's less time that we're poisoning the mob so not really great actually and <laughs> never mind um, but to make up for it add, uh, burning arrows have been added to force of nature so there we go just a three little things um, but the burning arrows are cool I'm sure you'll all agree that was the recent update um, just to mention something else uh, when I logged in today my campfire my um, coal smoker and my furnace were all destroyed uh, just piles of a few of the components left over but whatever it was that destroyed these was kind enough to leave me a ruby chip on the ground so I don't know if it died and that's what it dropped but it was a good trade-off trust me one ruby chip for a few components needed to make them so I was happy with that next I want to say a huge thank you to Tessa and to Dr Dragoran uh, Tessa first of all pointed out about the chests they act uh, the magic chests in Force of Nature act a bit like the Ender chests, as pointed out Lu by Llewellyn. Uh, in for those of you familiar with Minecraft, uh, you you take one chest around with you. They're they're colour coded, so you've got red chests, blue chests, green chests, and you use them in dual pairs. So you leave one chest at your base. So if you're using two green chests, like I am. You'll leave one at your base, preferably you'll leave it, uh, if it's a chest that you're going to be putting items into because your pocket gets full, then obviously you want to leave that coloured chest empty. Um, but Dragoran pointed out he uses the different coloured chests for a few different reasons. He uses the green chest for the components to make up five portals and uh, also he mentioned he left oh, I can't remember what else it was but some and the components to make the portals he leaves in the green chest that way when he's out and about in the world and he needs to build a new portal he'll place down this green chest that he's carrying the dissembled green chest that he's carrying in his pocket and I'll show you how to do that in a moment and he places that down and puts uh, grabs out the items to make his portal and then he can make his portal so that's a really clever idea he uses the blue chest for his armor so with the blue chest placed down one in his base he'll fill it with different types of armors because when you go to different zones if it's hot you need cool armor the Bedouin armor or if it's cold you need the fur armor or the white fur armor so you're able to switch different armors but he obviously has to carry a dissembled green chest, a dissembled blue chest, and he also uses the red chest for all the items he can he harvests. So, so the red chest he leaves empty. But the green and the blue, obviously, the greens fall with his portal components, blues fall with his different armours. So hopefully you get the gist of what I'm saying. If not, read uh, Dragorin's comment. Thank you very much, guys, uh, for your comments and your help. 
So, how do you pick up a chest when you've placed it? Left click on it, click dissemble. Bang, there we go, you've got yourself a dissembled chest in your pocket, depending on what colour it is. Now I can go to the build menu in game, constructions, and I can place back down that chest. So I've got the dissembled chest in my pocket, so I only need to select it and then I can pull it back down. But obviously I want to pull it down when I've travelled somewhere. And I've not decided what to, to use the chest for at the moment. So there we go, you have an understanding of that. Thank you guys for your comments on it. Okay, the white fur armour. Let's go to the tailoring table. I'm going to try and make them all. Let's see how I get on. Okay, so we're going to start at the top with the white fur boots because it's the white fur armor I'm making so we click that you need free fabric 25 oh you watch the amount of pelts we go through I think it's a total of 125 or 135 pelts it's an extreme amount you'll see so for this though for the boots we need free fabric 25 pelts and 20 ropes so we'll select that and click OK now we'll go to this tailoring table recipes next we're going to do the white fur gloves that's free fabric 25 pelts 20 more rope so we'll select that okay while these are making we will go get our water and honey no sense in wasting time time is money as they say or in force of nature time is water or honey whatever floats your boat okay let's head back see how it's getting on oh there we go we got ourselves some white fur boots and don't worry I'm going to show you in a moment we're going to compare them to the normal fur armor so you will know exactly what you want to make Okay, so if we go back into the recipes, we've done the boots, done the gloves, next white fur pants. So we select that, free fabric, 30 pelts and 20 more rope. So we select and OK. Right, cool, our gloves are done, so we'll take them, go to recipes, next. We are going to do white fur coat. Four fabric, 40 pelts and 40 rope so we're going through a lot of resources but they only need to be made once so let's do it okay so that just leaves the hat I don't oh yeah I should have enough I've got more pelts down there okay so we're just waiting for these to go I'm not going to bother going to get the water this time because this is going through nice and quickly uh, let's put the gloves there let's put the boots there the gloves there so we can compare okay nearly done right there we go there's the pants let's now finish by seeing if we've got enough to make the white fur hat oh yeah joy right so we need free fabric 25 pelts 20 rope like I say you only need to make all this armor the once and then you can use a chest to switch between your warm armors and your cold armors and your just good armor so we'll select that and okay let's grab our coat okay so we'll put the coat there we'll put the pants there and we're just waiting for the hat to complete our set it's nice and quick oh wow managed to do it in 15 minutes the whole set cool and we might even have a little time to go exploring I'm glad this is covering my modesty 
Okay, so let's grab the hat and let's get about comparing. So, I was currently wearing the normal fur armour. So the fur boots give us four armour plus three warming. If we switch to the white fur, you see we get two extra armour. We get an additional speed movement speed boost, so we'll be walking a bit quicker. And we get one additional warming. So that's an upgrade all round. So we definitely want to wear that, even if we're only going to walk around in our white fur boots now. For the kinky ones out there. Okay, next we've got the gloves. Fur gloves, free armour, plus free warming. White fur, double the armour, so we get six armour and one extra point in warming. So you see, definitely worth putting on. Okay, next the pants, so we get four armour, four warming. For the white, we get double the armour, so we're getting eight armour and one additional warming point. Again, worth wearing. Next, we got the fur coat, five armor, six warming. Well, this gives us eight armor, three extra armor, and it gives us one extra warmth. So again, it's an improvement, so we will use it. And last but not least, the hat. So we get four armor, three warming, double amount of armor, exactly the same amount of warming. We should have really got one point in the warming, but never mind, you see, it's just an extra bit of armor. So there we go, there's the full set of white armour. Now because I'm not going to need to switch between the normal fur and the white fur because the white is clearly a winner in every area I'm going to just dump the pile of uh, uh, fur over here because I won't ever be needing it again. Not unless I lose the white armour for some reason or another. Okay now that we've got that armour Let's drop off some honey. And drop the pelts and everything, which I'll put over here. Now, I like Dragorin's idea of putting his portal components in the chest. So that's what I want to demonstrate. Let's put the rope over there as well. Uh, let's drop all this water in case I do die. Okay, so yeah, what I want to demonstrate, so let's have a look. What do I need to make the uh, portals? So, if we go into here and have a look. So, stone. If I took 50 stone, stack of ash, stack of clay and a stack of sand. So we'll grab a stack of stone, stack of ash, not quite a stack of sand, although I can dig, so let's just go dig a bit of sand and get a stack of it. I don't know, everyone's different. You might decide to leave food and drinks in your green chest. Uh, so when you travel around, you can switch out different foods or keep more food in it. Uh, it does make good, very good sense, though, to keep the portal components as your first chest. Uh, but I believe we'll have one slot free uh, to store something else in it. Okay, let's have a look. How are we doing? Oh yeah, we got a stack of sand. So I can drop the additional sand down. Didn't take long at all, did it? Okay, so now what we do, let's just check, make sure that we can do the portal. Yep, there you go, so stack of everything is very good. So we go back to our green chest. and we drop a stack of all of them components to make our portals. It doesn't have to be a stack, you can do enough for one portal or two portals. 
Yeah, all right, timer. You're not going to rush me. Okay, so there's four. You've got one slot free. Um, I'd have a look at Dragorin's post to see what his fifth additional item is. Because he is very clued up, just like uh, Tessa. Okay, let's now go to a location. In fact, let's go to where I've made it to before, the reason why I needed this work, white fur armour, to see if I still take damage or will need to do an amulet of comfort. So we'll click this, and it was Saturn, I think, near there. So let's go have a look, because I can't remember. You know what my memory's like. So if we look at the map, I was going in this direction and I started to take damage so or I started to get health drain let's see if we still do it remember if it's cold it's your health if it's heat it's your stamina but having said that maybe something different will start to occur maybe both will start to get drained if it gets severe oh is this as far as I went yeah, so it doesn't look like I'm getting drained. So let's start to take off and get in decent uh, and find out what one. So we'll take this off and I'm looking to see if I start getting drained. Yeah, as soon as I've taken that off, there you go. It's now minus, it's now gone to one. I'm getting a health drain basically. So let's pull it back on. And there you go. Just enough, a full set of white armor gets us as far as here. Whether it will get us much further, or we will need to make an amulet of comfort, I don't know. So let's do a bit of chopping and see. Oh, definitely grab this bamboo. Am I going the right way? Yeah. And we've got to keep our eyes open to see if we start taking damage. Look at the map. <clears throat> yep, now there's some fighting. I don't know what level these are going to be. Hopefully, they'll go easy on me. There's a bear. I'm going to have to chop these trees down. I can't see a thing. Okay, let's demonstrate the chest, otherwise I'm going to forget. So, we've got our dissembled green chest. What we do, if I go to the construction menu, and if I now click the green chest, select it. Oh, there's enemies. Well, it's not this one, because they're quite friendly. Unless they're classed as an enemy. Let's chop a bit further. <clears throat> I want to see how tough these uh, creatures are anyway. Actually, I want to keep that there. Let's do this big tree. Oh, yeah, here they come. What level? Level 10. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I should have eaten an apple pie. Yep, dead. I ate it, but it's too late. Okay, let's quickly go back and try again. Death is a part of the game. Oh, look at that. That was cool. Hardly lost anything. It could have been pretty bad, but it wasn't. So let's go back to Saturn. And quickly go back and take revenge. I should have eaten the apple pie, I was being silly in that um, a Russell which only gave me health, 10 health. I didn't expect that boar to chew through me so quickly. Won't catch me again I can assure you. Oh here we go scorpion. They're quite weak though fortunately. Oh stop shooting that 
greeny stuff happening. Right, I better heal that poison. And let's try and get rid of this. So I don't know where the bear and the boar went. Oh. What'd he drop? Two bands. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the bear and the boar went. Let's see if we can put a chest down, just so I can show you. Okay, so build menu, constructions, green chest, select, and uh, we'll plonk it down there. This is just to show you the usefulness. Open it up. And Viola. You see you've got access to everything you left in that chest back at your base. Now you can either, like I say, use it two ways. You can either have the components for building more portals and an additional item of your choice, or you can have it for your weapons or armors, or you can leave it empty in your base and fill it up with uh, stuff that fills your pocket up for farming. So as you get different types of chests, different colors, you can have different uses for them. What I'm gonna do though, disassemble that, because this is not going to be where I build a portal. Like Dra Dragoran said, wherever you build a portal is a good place to um, maybe have a chest. Or something like that. No, don't quote me on that. I don't think. He said it's just good for keeping the portal components. Okay, I'm not taking any drain. So I can keep going in that direction. But I'll end this episode here because I've shown all I wanted to. Thank you to everyone for your comments. Even if you leave a happy smiley face, that's still wonderful to hear from you. Uh, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.